Hello, Internet Magic Man here from MMOBomb.com, bringing you another first look. This time it's Metal Reaper Online, developed by N2 Games, published by JC Planets, SCSoft. There's a couple different companies in the mix. It's a free to play uh, ARPG slash MMO, uh, kind of like a Diablo, Torchlight, that whole deal, except with guns. We're going to spend about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever, checking out the game, giving you my first impressions, and taking you through some of the systems in the game. And uh, as always, feel free to leave a comment below. Now, I've got a level 9 sniper that we're going to be playing on in just a minute, but we're going to start with character creation. Let me get a few things out of the way first. The game looks like shit. I, okay, it does. What, whatever. It is what it is. There's mobile games that look better. Okay, fine. What I get it. No problem. And yeah, the questing is mindless, and you're probably going to ignore the hell out of the story like I am. That being said, the game's fun. And I can't... I, I, you know, it is what it is. It's just, it's just damn fun. So let's check it out. We're going to go create a character here. Now, I'm not going to actually roll this character up. I just want to show you this. Uh, there's not a ton to choose from. Basically, ignore this drawing over here on the left with the, the guy here with his little book. And pay attention to the character models on the right that are standing in line. If you don't want to play a male character, click on disqualified. Next up in line is a female character. Don't like that? Disqualified. Then you get a male disqualified then you get a female and all it's doing is randomly generating the look behind here because there's not a ton of customization so you pick a male or a female you give it you give them a name we'll uh we'll be testies again you give them a former job and all this does is get you a boost to start the game with and you can pick what kind of boost you want astronauts get a reduced debuff time of 10 percent uh martial artists get a boost to attack and evasion, archaeologist, defense force. So we'll go with defense force. We'll take a max skill point plus one and an accuracy rate of uh, increase of 2.5%. Adjust your height. Uh, not really much going on. Maybe a six inch difference there, but that's all you need. <laughs> Moving on. The shape of the body. You've got to be kidding me. Shape. Shape of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I had a joke written here for the shape slider because I mess with it on a male character. This is the first time I've messed with it on a female character. It does not just do this on the male. Let's get a male character up there. That's amazing. So if you mess with the shape on a guy, look, both the shoulders and the legs get bigger, but the waist stays the same. I don't know. I don't get it. Pick a hairstyle. There's 21 different ones to choose from and pick a color. Pick one of eight faces. Pick a color. Pick a couple of starting clothes and pick a voice. There's not a lot of customization, but that's all right. It is one of those random loot games, and there's a ton of loot ARPG style, so you can really customize your character through the loot, as you can see with my sniper wearing a welder's toaster mask. We're going to jump into the game here. W, A, S, and D are going to be your movement. I'll take you through some of the... The basic thingies now that we're talking about, uh, or we're watching a loading screen here. Uh, w, A, S, and D are, is your movement. E is your interact key, which takes a second to get used to if you're used to uh, F or R. A space bar does a little dash move so that you can get the hell out of the way. And your mouse cursor, the blue circle moving around, is your aim point. So by clicking left mouse button, boom, I fire to the left. If I put it over here, boom, I fire to the right and I can move and fire in the opposite direction. So kind of twin stick shooter, and you can do that if you, it doesn't natively support a controller, uh, but if you want to make it support a controller for the uh, savvy of you out there, there are programs that'll let you do that and it gives you that twin stick feel as far as the controls go. The, uh, <laughs> the localization is horrible. It's so off. Take the advice of just about a ton of Steam reviews, and if you want to read the actual quest, which I don't, I skip them because they're it's so generic and boring uh, as far as what's going on uh, that you really just you really don't need to read the quest. But if you want to, you do it in a thick Russian accent, and it's just amazing. All right, so we've got to defeat some guards here, and I love how every weapon looks like it's pretty much hollow point. Uh, because it just blows people apart. 
just blows them apart and throws them for miles. In my hut bar, you'll notice I've already started skilling up some abilities. I've got headshot, which gives me a crit chance bonus, uh, or a crit chance increase for 30 seconds. I've got a grenade that I can lob in like that. And I've also got a, uh, a poison trap that I can lob in and do that. Let's get them to go over it, and there we go. Now they have a debuff for a little while. You can equip up to three weapons, and really, uh, when you get to, I think it's like level six or seven, you're going to be asked to spec into a specific class, and there's four to choose from. I, don't waste too much time. Just pick something that sounds fun to you, because I'm going to tell you, messing around with this, the classes really don't matter. If you're good at this type of game, the, this, you know, ARPG, kill them all, be able to kill things and get out of the way at the same time. If you're good at that type of gameplay, then your class really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with the sniper, but by pressing F1, we'll switch weapons. You'll notice I have three here. Can I equip a fourth? Maybe I can equip a fourth. I thought the tutorial only said three. That's another thing the tutorial kind of blows. Uh, so I can equip a pistol, uh, and I have a sniper rifle, and I have a different pistol equipped in number three. But if you want to rock a flamethrower or a chainsaw and, and a sniper rifle and a shotgun, go ahead. It's, it's whatever you want. Uh, the skill tree, which I'll show you in just a second as we're finishing the quest, is what's going to determine what you have in your hot bars here. By spending points when you level, a la M every other MMORPG you've ever played, you will skill up and be granted abilities for the points that you spend. And spending multiple points on one ability usually results in some type of increase to that ability's overall functionality and overall usefulness. I'm getting stuck on environment here. Now, I do have only 32 ammo left for the sniper rifle, so I'm probably going to change that in a minute. Uh, don't worry about ammo. You can buy it with credits, which is the in-game currency. So both of these quests are... Are they both complete? Yes, they are. Uh, now they are. Uh, you can buy it with the in-game credits when you visit the, like, the main hub area. You can buy a ton of ammo for whatever weapons that you want. Now, this is all open-world content that you're watching right now, this, this type of questing. Uh, there are what they call missions, which would be more of your dungeons, your like, Diablo-type dungeons content. And you can get those, and there's a cooldown timer as far as those things go, so blah. We'll take a look at the cash shop in just a second. Let me turn in some quests. Uh, we'll turn in this one. Oh, I gotta pick a pair of pants. <laughs> See, look at that. <laughs> Why is Vulcan have kidnapped the kids? I don't get it. Ugh. Bag space is a nightmare in this game, uh, particularly off the off the bat here. Uh, you can expand this by using bag expand tickets that you can buy in the cash shop or 10,000 credits for this first slot here. And I just breached 10,000 credits, and I I need ammo. But I, I have to do it. Let's see. Does the next one cost the same? Oh, good lord. The next one's 100,000 credits. Well, there's certainly incentive to go to the cash shop and buy that bag expansion, isn't there? Yipes. Yipes. Why is Vulcan have kidnapped the kids? I guess that would be Vulcan. Vulcan in, in Russian. Oh, no, that would be German. Sorry, so it would be, be. Alright, picking up the quest. Picking up the quests. Talk to this guy. Pick up the quests. Pick up the quests. And you can see in my mini-map there, all the quest objectives appearing north of me. Pick up that quest, too. And we'll go. Yeah, the first mission you'll get, which is like their Pv uh, PvE dungeon stuff, uh, you'll get it about level 5. And it's a pretty cool event, actually, or mission, where you go in, you get a flamethrower, and you nuke a bunch of zombies. And, of course, completing the dungeon with a better ranking leads to better rewards. 
And I got the triple S ranking. You will too. It's not so hard. Uh, I think all you got to do is get 500 points and beat it in under five minutes, which with the flamethrower, you should have no problem doing. Got an iron helmet, bunch of credits. I'm going to leave that iron helmet there since bag space is a problem. And here's something I have to interact with. Search the rocks for something. Oh, we're searching for an exit. Okay. Sure. There is an exit. Nope. 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 And the last one up here. <laughs> it's like hollow point bullets, man. Shit, people just go everywhere. Oh, now we're down to the pistol. I've used my sniper ammo. Press R to give a little reload action. So kind of a mix between that ARPG and uh, and that shooter type feel. What is this? I have no idea. Uh, get the credits. I need it. I just nuked 10,000 credits. Buying like eight bag slots. For God's sakes. Run. Let's uh, shake things up behind me a little bit. Wow, that was convenient. I didn't even know I needed a quest item there and I just happened to get it. Wow, coming back in. Oh, I gotta select a reward. Uh, I really don't want to lose the movement speed right now. Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll take that one. We got that. And we'll turn this one in. And we will take those. And all right, now we're gonna go do a mission. Now missions come in various types too. You'll get a mission at about level eight uh, where you're actually driving a tank and doing things and blowing things up. Pretty slick little mission. So there's, uh, yeah, confirm. there's plenty of variety there. Or at least there is so far. Right off the bat of the game, I've had two or three different mission types. Probably, can I, did that, the mission should have, no it did not, okay. Oh boy. Now this mission looks to be pretty short, it's to defeat a vice boss. Now you'll notice I have an F ability where I can call in a finishing move. There it is. It's now available. I'm not going to use it yet because I'm still clearing trash here. We'll save that finisher for something better than dogs and trash. I have a ton of assault rifle ammo. Maybe I should switch to that. I don't know. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. All right, now here. I almost have a full, I'm gonna wait for that meter just around my uh, finisher unit frame to fill all the way up based on damage. There we go, there we go. Call in an airstrike on him. What's up, buddy? Uh, no, we'll be sure to stay out of that. Thanks, though. I, I, I might be in trouble, or it might, this might take a while. I really hope I don't run out of ammo. Give him a dot. That'll help out. I shouldn't run out of ammo. I should be fine. Quick. 
Chuck a grenade in there a little bit. Give him some more dot action. While I sit here and pluck away with a pistol. Because I didn't realize I was running into a mission. There we go. Alright. Some materials. A launcher. Very nice. Very nice. Pick up some cash. And we'll exit the mission. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. So that gives you an idea. That was a really short one. Uh, the first one I did was a lot longer than that. It was a more of a windy, cavey type mission. The stuff you'd be familiar with from playing Diablo. Let's take a look at skills real quick. There is PvP in the game. There's uh, but three different PvP modes that you can uh, check out if you're PvP inclined. And where are my skills? There they are. So right now I have one skill point that I can spend, and you'll notice I already have some abilities unlocked, and the rest of them are locked. They require certain levels before you can open them up. I'm level 9. I think the next level that is level 10 will give me an ability, and then so will level 11. So I can uh, up the uh, stats on my precision fire ability, or I can up the stats on my venom trap, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make that do a little more damage over time. You've got your crafting, you've got your marketplace and everything. I'll show you the cash shop real quick before we call it a day. Most of the stuff in the cash shop's pretty standard. Uh, the premium account type stuff, the bonuses to XP and all that stuff that you would uh, you would be used to, vehicles and things to put on your avatar. One thing I do want to ask about for those of you that have played Metal Reaper online and heads up, or a shout out to uh, use an MMO bomber that emailed me about this game asking me to check it out. You know who you are. Uh, those of you that have played this a, lit a little longer than I have, you can't respec without skill manuals. You need this to reset them. There are also cash shop items that unbind things and let you trade them. Ugh, but you know, whatever. Um, the skill manual. I haven't come across these in game. Is there any way to find these skill manuals in game or is respecing a cash shop only item? Uh, so let me know if you've played Metal Reaper online uh, longer than I have. Throw it in the comments and, and let me know what we're doing with that. Is this going to level me? Pistol, pistol, pistol. Or no, what's this? A it's a rifle, machine gun, a chainsaw, and a pistol. We're going to go with the rifle. Oh, God, bag space. All right, so, gang, that's the game. That's Metal Reaper Online. You know, it is what it is, but it's kind of fun. I don't know if I'd play it for long periods of time, and uh, I think that's the best thing is, like, play it for an hour and then maybe don't play it for a day or two and then play it for an hour or two because there's some mindless fun to be had. Yeah, it doesn't look all that great visually, and you're probably not going to pay attention to the quest, and whatever. It's just mindless fun, so... If you want to check it out, head on over to Steam or their website. You can get it on both. I'm Magic Man from MMOBomb.com saying stay, stay, blah, blah, blah. until next time, stay safe. We'll see you on the servers. <laughs>